Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is of course Catman Joe, and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another brand new Minecraft tutorial video on my channel. Today we're going to be covering how to actually download and use Minecraft Java Worlds from files that you've downloaded via the internet or whatever it may be, okay? So let's just begin right into it and let's just get right to it, shall we? So let's put down the entire actual scenario, all right? You've downloaded a Minecraft Java World and you don't know what to do with it, all right? You've loaded up Minecraft Java Edition, you know, you booted it up and you've thought, it might be there, but it's not there. You can't see, all right? So what do you do? Well, we're going to show you exactly what to do right now. Now, before I do show you guys me um, actually, you know, giving you the whole tutorial on how to do this, because it's very quick and very easy. I just wanted to, just for, you know, proof's sake, I just want to show you guys my actual Minecraft Java edition and the worlds I currently own on it. So you guys can't be like, oh, no, no, no. You already had that world. The tutorial didn't work for me. If this doesn't work for you, there's steps down below in the description. I have to do it, you know, in text form because I know sometimes I go a little bit too quickly. But yeah, I mean, you guys can see right here. This is my only Minecraft Java edition world called Hi Viewers. And that's all it is. All right. It's very easy. Very simple. That's all I've got. All right. So let's real quick X this off. And let's get right to the, excuse me, let's get right to this. All right. So first of all, the world that you most likely downloaded uh, or 100 percent is downloaded is probably a zipped file, obviously. Right. It's a compressed zip folder. So first of all, the first main thing you want to do is actually unzip that. All right. So you're going to want to click onto it or click right click, it, excuse me, and click extract all. Once you've extracted it like this, just click extract. Bada bing, bada boom. You're going to get presented with the actual file right here. Now we're going to, again, right click on it and we're going to click copy. So now we've copied it and that's all you've got to do from here. So from here you can close this all down and that's us all Gucci. We're 100 percent ready to rock and roll. All right. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to we're going to want to click, excuse me, our Windows button or go down to the actual Windows search bar and just simply type the word run R U N. All right. And you'll see the run app. We're going to click open. Once we've opened it, you're going to want to type percentage app data percentage. Now, to skip this whole next process, you could put percentage app data percentage dot Minecraft and it'll just take you right to the location that we're going. But I'm going to do this the long way. Just give you guys a full example. All right. So we're going to put that in. We're going to want to click for excuse me. From there, we're going to want to click OK. Um, and then we're going to get presented with this entire screen right here. Now, you're just going to simply look for dot Minecraft. If you see anything else, uh, don't click it. All right. You know, normally if you're looking for, you know, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, for example, that's in the local area, but we're not looking for that. All right. We're going into the Roman area and we're going to click on dot Minecraft. All right. From here, very simply, you'll see saves. Click on that, and that's where your worlds are stored. So what we can do is we can actually just paste our world in, the one that we just copied, and there you guys go. It's old minigame lobby, 2016 Java. And if you want to make this simpler for yourself for future reference, this is what I recommend to everybody, okay? And um, what you might want to do, and you can do it this way or you can do it the way before this. So what we can do is, as you guys can see, I've got right here pinned.minecraft. You can right click on the actual Minecraft folder and just simply click pin to, uh, pin to quick access, excuse me. Um, or if you want to make it even easier for yourself, click on the saves folder like so and click pin to quick access like that. And as you guys can see, it just pops up right here. And what this means is that say, you know, you don't have to do that entire spiel all over again, even though it's very simple. You can just click your file or, you know, your file explorer and just look for your pinned areas and find saves. And then obviously click on your worlds. Now, just to prove this works, I'm going to reboot back up in Minecraft Java edition like so if it goes up right now. And uh, once it's booted up and whatnot, um, that'll be us. You know, you guys should see the world 100%. It should be there and we can play on it. It'll work without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, that'll be us, guys. We'll be all Gucci, all right? So let's click play. It'll take just a second to fully boot up. And unlike Minecraft Barrel Edition, Minecraft Java Edition to install worlds, I'd say is even easier, in fact. Um, it's it's supremely easy, to be honest with you all, in fact. Um, to right, some extent. So sorry about that, everybody. That was my fault. Uh, but, well, no, it wasn't my fault. My dad actually came in the room as I was recording, so rudely interrupting me. And it just caused me to lose my train of thought. My, my, excuse me, my train of thought like this, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so let's actually build up Minecraft again because I accidentally as well closed it down while at the end of that recording there, as I'm sure you'll probably laugh at. And so, so yeah, as you guys can see, we're on Minecraft Java Edition now. We can click single player. And as you can see, high viewers are proper word right here, the first one. And of course, all the minigame lobby Java. And you guys can see the actual proper name for itself, 2016, etc. You know, etc. Java, all that kind of jazz, all right? And uh, let's just import this. Let's get this thing actually played or let's play on this world itself. And let me just show you guys it's working 100% perfectly fine. So again, guys, I just want to reiterate, I really do apologize about that weird kind of snap off right there. My previous video from yesterday regarding how to install worlds on Barrel Condition, um, that worked 100% fine. I've done that all in one take, but this time I was doing this video and I was also doing this all in one take, but my dad so really interrupted me. So again, I do apologize for that. But 
But as you guys can see here, of course, we've got the old battle lobby. And uh, guys, just like that, that is how easy it is to install worlds on Minecraft Java Edition. Again, I don't know about you guys, but I'd say it's even easier to install maps on Java Edition than it is on Bedrock Edition uh, because it's legitimately just one single save traje uh, trajectory. Is that what you say? My apologies. Um, but you guys, anyway, that is the end of today's video. Hope you guys did go to enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like in it and, of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. And, of course, share, so, uh, share this Excuse me, with your friends and family. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. See you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic day or night, wherever you guys are. And, yeah, everybody, peace out.